Think fast, Chuckle Nuts! How do you play this? Well, you're probably not going to hear any of this because I'm probably cutting this out. You're probably not going to hear a lick of this music. How do you... How do you play any of this? But yes, hello everybody. My name is Barry Scooter. And welcome to another Think Fast featuring Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memories. I understand how to play now. I don't understand how to play this. Oh, it's a direction. But yeah, I probably have muted the entire video. But this is a Think Fast series where I play uh, Melody of Melody mel mel song. It's it's basically all the music from the Kingdom Hearts game in a in a in a rhythm game. And yeah, that game name. And I don't know how I can describe this game very simply. Hey, look, the music, everything's back. I don't know how easily I can describe all this, but basically it's a Kingdom Hearts adventure that kind of goes over the entire franchise, but through cutscenes in the background, and then it's music-based otherwise. So it's a rhythm game, so a lot of this game is probably going to be muted, just because, holy cats, Kingdom Hearts is a copyright nightmare. <laughs> and even then, I'm probably still going to miss something, and this video is probably still going to be demonetized. Stage battle enemies, you run on a musical staff and reach the end of the clear to song. You can use different buttons to attack, jump, use abilities, and more. Time your actions to match timing guides that show exactly when to press a button. Gradually sink, aim for the moment when it overlaps, basically. But yeah, the... Uh oh my god, we were just going one to the other? So hold on, let me see. So, ah, so it's A. Well, I guess requisite circle. Oh, with bumpers. Okay. So is it literally just the same buttons? Okay, now I'm being tutorialized. And if I have a trio. Okay, so that's how it works. And then this is magic. Okay, it's cool. Okay, interesting. Press B to jump, and then A to slap. Okay. So do I press it at the same time then? Oh, okay, I see. So I do have to follow this a little bit. Oh, and then when the chain's over. Okay, interesting. Okay, I will. Can I pause for just a second so I can get a thought out? With no mute. Okay, can I pause? No, I cannot pause. Oh, I jumped instead of attacked. Go me. So yeah, it's uh it's kind of interesting, I'll say. <laughs> I 
it's really interesting. It's like it's really interesting trying like to, 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 like try to say what's going on here. It's really It's uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm like losing myself in all this cuz I'm it's really hard to play a rhythm game and talk at the same time. And I didn't play on a hard difficulty yet. And it, it probably makes no sense because I'm not doing anything. I'm not even like doing anything. I'm not doing anything like super technical yet anyway. Okay, interesting. Sorry. I really haven't given my proper intro to this game, have, uh, to this series, have I? So basically, Think Fast... I should start from the beginning. The Think Fast series is... The Think Fast series is where I sit down with the game for 15 to 45 minutes, playing it as if I just opened it up from a physical package, and gave you folks my thoughts on the game based on that time alone. I feel like I've said that already in this video, but I, have I do record a lot of my videos in bulk. Yeah, some enemies take multiple hits. I can always revisit the tutorials. Do I have like a menu I can get into now, or am I good? Okay, I have worlds. But yeah, I'm. Oh, do I? Have, I have free reign. I have free reign. I have the gummy ship free reign. So I need to. Hmm. There's all clear rewards for the some of this stuff. Okay, and I can't go here, so I can see the entire game. At this point, I can, oh my, I can see the entire game at this point. That's going to be a major boss fight. I can see that. Wow, this is bigger than I thought it was going to be. I realize rhythm games don't, I realize a lot of rhythm games aren't like super technical, but this is bigger than I thought it was going to be. Holy, holy cow. Wow. Uh, I thought I just invested in like a 20 hour, 20 hour time sink. I think I may have just uh, sunk myself. No pun intended. Well. With that being said, I should head I should head this I should head off most of this right now with a statement that probably will, you know, a statement that I should say that make that lets people know where I am Kingdom Hearts wise. At the time of this recording, I have only played a singular Kingdom Hearts game. Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories for the Game Boy Advance. To which I hear everybody exclaiming, "Oh god, this is the worst game you could have possibly played." Also understand, I didn't have a PlayStation anything until about four years ago. Five years ago. Time's weird. Anyway, let me play this. Let me play this song, and of course, I'm gonna have to either. I'm probably gonna have to kill the audio on this. Yeah. Oh, wait. What? What is this? What feature did I just hit, and why is taking? Why do we have these? Is it an autoplay mode? It's a demo mode. No, stop the demo. No demos. What? It's nice that you can demo it just to like listen to the music, but why? Okay, let's give it a shot. So all this music that I'm going to be hearing, it's I'm going to be hearing it for the first time. Also, this doesn't. This is really doesn't look half bad on the Switch. All right, get him, Donald. But yeah, this this like actually doesn't look half bad on the Switch as bad as weird as that is. I kind of I kind of like it on the Switch. Yeah, it's it's this actually doesn't look half bad on the Switch. So I actually, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if like Kingdom Hearts something happened on the Switch at some point, but it's probably not going to happen because Kingdom Hearts is uh, Sony's cash cow. All right, get the wide body. I kind of like using the shoulder buttons for attacks, if that makes sense. 
Especially for a character that's like on the side like Goofy and Donald. This is this probably This probably sounds so strange because like there's no sound for you guys. There's like no sound for you guys happening right now, I'm well aware. If it is there is sound, it's like hella muted. So I understand this is really hard to like watch and listen to a guy just jammering in the dark. So I don't know. I really wish I could let you hear more of it. Oh, A rank, I'll take it. Huh. Uh, I guess I leveled up. Cool. New field battle song is available to play on the track selection. Okay, cool. I got all the stars. I got potions? Do how do I use items? Excuse me? <laughs> but I will say, like, I am I am enjoying this so far, but it is a rhythm game from a series I've never from a series that I've never heard the songs from. And also keep in mind, like, a lot of this stuff is gonna be a lot of the music that that I'm hearing, a lot of the music that I'm hearing in this, I need more stars. So I guess I just Oh, I have to clear I have to do another song. Ah, that's why there's another song here. I didn't catch that. So each world has multiple songs too. All right, so you see I'm difficult to select items for selecting a song. Oh, there's proud mode. Okay. Well, let's try standard here. Now that I'm done with that. Oh, I can change my party out. Why would I change my party out? Let's do standard and let's put a potion on just in case I goof. So, but yeah, it's, I don't know. It's, it's, it's very nice. It's a very nice game. And like I said, it looks for the fact that it's on switch. It actually looks pretty good. Like I wouldn't be surprised if like in some I wouldn't be surprised if some point in the future, like, like very far in the future, like, like some point very far in the future, uh, like the uh, Nintendo, like the, uh, the, the Switch got like some Kingdom Hearts 1 plus 2 remix or whatever they call those things. Oh, I missed. That was bad. I missed a, I missed a, uh, what was that? Dark mind? What do they call those things in the main games? I just stick to pushing buttons. Instead, I should stick to just pushing buttons instead of trying to hit bumpers to do things. But here I am hitting bunter, buttons. Here I am hitting bumpers. I missed that badly. How did I how did I recover from that by the way? I'm not I'm not familiar with any of the music or any of the songs going on right, right now. I like How did I miss? I was pressing A the whole time. Yeah, use a skill and then finish it all off with a tr tr team attack. I don't know. I kind of I like this. Like, it's it's dumb. Oh, I got a chest. I got a chest. Is that is that for me doing good or is that just signifying that I can go to the next area? <laughs> Listen, I'll take a B for my first standard. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's like I said. I like this. All right, I cleared all the things, and I get a story scene. Uh, return to world tour? Is that a cutscene that's going to happen at this point?
so that's what that means. If it has that, if it has that, uh, what do I want to say? If it has that movie reel looking thing on it, that means it has a, if it has that movie reel looking thing on it, that means it has like a story finale thing tied to it. This one? Progress through world tour. Okay. Melody of fate. Summon, summoning star. Melody of destruction. So I have two things. But yeah, I kind of finished this thought because I keep having this thought and I need to st I need to like organize my thoughts. So if big if, by the way, if this game in some capacity, if this game series in some capacity came back to Nintendo, it would be like the last thing that that Sony would want to let loose from their archives. Because just 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 me speaking personally, but Sony's kind of kind of like starving for unique titles to its platform, and letting go of Kingdom Hearts would kind of ruin a lot of it. But that's just me speaking. All right, Knight of Fate. All right, let's let's run on standard again. Is that eight? Yeah, it's eight. So four. Oof, I cannot do proud. So what does this do? Uh, let's just put potion on. Oh, I have potions on. Okay. I can't change my team. So let's just play this one. I think I'll do this one last song and we'll probably call it good here. I will say though, for like... I will say though, for like a... Uh, I will say for like a... Uh, for a... Uh, For, for just like a Kingdom Hearts kind of... Dang it. For like a random Kingdom Hearts game, this isn't that bad. Look, this isn't that bad of a title. I would say like definitely wait for it on sale like I did. Like definitely wait for it to go on sale like I did. Because that's the reason why I have this, is I've gone on sale. Like, this is definitely more of a, not a, this is one of those not a full price title kind of games. I was waiting for this to pick up, actually. I was waiting for it to match up with the music. I was waiting for it all to match up with the music. I'm, I'm like smashing buttons furiously whenever I have to jump now. Maybe if I knew the series music more, this would be like more second nature to me than anything else. But yeah, it's just like right now I'm just kind of mashing a lot. Yeah, I'm mashing a lot just because I don't I don't know the music and timing a visual with a melody kind of sucks when you're playing with something recorded because it doesn't match up perfectly. <laughs> I'm giving Johns, I understand. I'm giving a lot of Johns right now. But as I said, you know, definitely get it on sale. This definitely feels this is a definitely a good discount game to pick up, so to say, but this is not like a full price game. It looks fantastic considering this is Nintendo Switch. I need to remind people this is Nintendo Switch version. All right, I did it. Barely did it. Uh, return to World Tour. But oh, outside of the fact that it is definitely a, uh, it's definitely necessary if you wanna. It's definitely like a good, cheap. Like I feel like this is a good synopsis of at least the main Kingdom Hearts games, because I know there's prequels and spin-off titles that aren't fully part of the story, but they are part of the story. I realize Nomura's a madman with how he organizes his story. There's a reason why there there are games called Kingdom Hearts 2.5 and 2.8. <laughs> but really but for somebody like me who doesn't hasn't played any of this ga these games, at least not yet, and I have them in my catalog that I could play in the future. This is a nice game that kind of introduce you to the story of the series. 
as kind of like a as kind of like a brief buffer on the whole series while also letting you experience the music from the series. So, I don't know. I'm just rambling. Woo! Look at me go. I could go to Traverse Town. Or I could see, meet Yuffie and Sid and all those guys. But I'd rather not right now. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a complete boy. I, I like to do the complete. <laughs> so, yeah. I think I'm going to end things off here, though. So, if you folks are interested in Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory... And want to and all that stuff. Want to know how how much it's going to cost you? What systems you can get it on? All that kind of stuff. That'll be available in the description down below. But that's my time for today. Everyone, thank you all so much for watching this initial reactions, and come back again when I'll react to a brand new title for the very first time. You folks have a great rest of your day and take care.